Make a key point, but in the 2008 race, the insurgent or the new guy won, mm -hmm. and she was the career Democrat who said, "Okay, I have no choice here," and wanted to have a future. So she, she, it came in, and she handled, she did the right thing. So I'm not criticizing her at all in terms of how she managed the party thing. But do we expect this? We talk about this Republican fracturing. Do we have a fracturing in the Democratic Party, and do we have any evidence to know that if the track continues as it's going, and Hillary Clinton wins, probably needing super delegates to get across the finish line, and we'll do the math in more detail in a minute. Does Sanders and his voters say, okay, we're on board? I think some of Sanders supporters clearly are indicating that they aren't going to be with, with Hillary, and uh, there's really nothing she can do about that. I do think there is a fracture in the Democratic Party that has long-term consequences. I don't think you're looking at an immediate party split like the Republicans mm -hmm. are pretty much mm -hmm. already guaranteed to have. Uh, Bernie Sanders himself has said repeatedly and unequivocally that he would not encourage any kind of independent effort or anything that would uh, potentially take votes away from the Democratic nominee. Uh, as Nia said, you know, things looked just this bad in 2008 between the two candidates, and you had a Hillary movement that was campaigning that they would never support Barack Pumas. Obama, the yeah. Pumas. No. Uh, look it up if you want to know what it stands for. <laughs> uh, but, uh, but, but, you know, it, there is a lot of frustration on both sides, like the slogan of MTV's The Real World, when, when candidates stop being polite and start getting real. This is always how they felt about each other. Right. Yeah, they exactly. weren't ever really I know. friends. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. now the sort of mask has fallen and they can showcase the real way they feel about each other, which is that he thinks she's an establishment hack and she doesn't think he's serious. It's hard out there for a center-left Democrat these days. Um, the party has moved away from Clintonism, and she's trying to accommodate that. And, and her last name's Clinton. And yeah. Her last, <laughs> last name's Clinton. So it's ungainly in, in doing so, and um, it is hard to pull off uh, now, and it's going to be fascinating if she is president to see how she actually governs, given the promises of the campaign and uh, the reality of... Um, of uh, divided government and her actual beliefs, I think, on, on some of these issues. But uh, let me just say, though, I, in terms of the fall, um, I think you'll, you'll see um, the Bernie supporters come to her, not because they love her, but because they're, they're voting against somebody. <laughs> they're, right. they're voting to stop Donald Trump or, or Ted Cruz. I think the difference could be, though, that they pull the lever for Hillary Clinton, but they're not giving her 40 hours a week in volunteer time. Right. They're right. not making phone calls, knocking on doors like they, they would have for Bernie. I think, I think this puts more pressure on her, should she be the nominee, when it comes to a running mate, finding someone who is perhaps a little more left of, of center than she is, uh, and someone who is perhaps mm -hmm. youthful, uh, because you have to capture that, that youth support that Bernie has. And I yeah. think Molly's right. I think this, this begins something that will continue to fester in the Democratic Party over the next few years. She will have to prove it if she's elected president through her policy. But I think you'll see it down ballot. There was a skirmish this past week uh, about the, uh, the, the, the policies of Julian Castro as HUD secretary, about whether or not as through, through his policies he was starting to cause trouble for people who were underwater on their mortgages. And right. there was a real skirmish among Hispanic groups about whether he was properly representative of the community. Those kinds of battles over yeah. certain people's right. bona yeah. fides yep. are going right. to happen. Uh, in, in the midterm Actually, elections in, in, in two years, in, in, and next yeah. year in Bernie dollar Sanders races. starting yeah. to do well with right. Latino voters yeah. in yeah. in yeah. New York and certainly in California, in California. almost yeah. even right. with Hillary Clinton. And we're ha we're having this conversation in the context that she.